So the recent Republican obsession with schooling is the battlefield the GOP plans to stake their political future on. Think about it. There's guns, there's abortion, but no, they want to go after these issues. And it's the focus of Jonathan Chait's latest piece for New York Magazine entitled Indoctrination Nation. Convinced schools are brainwashing kids to be left-wingers. Conservatives are seizing control of the American classroom. And Jonathan joins us now. Uh, you write in your piece, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty good here. Uh, you get right to the heart of the matter, that it's <clears throat> hardly novel for Republicans to emphasize the need to improve schools. Ronald Reagan administration published a report, A Nation at Risk, that inaugurated the modern education reform debate. But you continue, what sets the current movement apart from these previous efforts is not merely its greater intensity, but its focus. Academic achievement levels are incidental to Republicans' concern. Their main preoccupation is not the ways in which Chinese and Swedish kids may be outpacing their American counterparts. They are instead accusing schools of carrying out an insidious indoctrination campaign that they believe poses an existential threat to their party's future and their way of life. And I guess, Jonathan, uh, my first question is, do they really believe this? Do they really believe that, like, don't say gay is so important that it's existential to the future oh, wait, or banning certain books? Really? Yeah, I think they do. And that's really the okay. number one point I want to make in this piece is that I think a lot of people who aren't hardcore conservative Republicans see this as a cynical messaging exercise and just an attempt to rile people up. But I really think that conservative Republicans believe this. They're they're concerned. They're freaked out about the ideological yeah. tenor of schools. And they think schools are turning the kids liberal and they've got to change it. So th they're acting on these beliefs. So I think we, we need to stop dismissing this as just messaging um, and trying to rile the voters and really think about okay. it as a serious attempt to change American education. OK, on the face of what you're saying, I'm going to I'm going to believe that they believe it. But I, I need to understand. Yeah. I mean, for example, some of sure. the laws passed in Florida, I'll go to some of the more um, I think the ones that have really kind of sparked a lot of outrage among yeah. um, members of all parties who really are worried about school shootings. And they have like, don't say gay, yeah. for example. And this is for kindergarten to third grade right. or something. Is it really happening or it's all the way up to um, 12th grade? Now. Hold on. Oh, it's all the way to the our kindergarten teachers walking into yeah. class and saying, oh, here's uh, my friend Johnny. He's gay. Let me tell you what that means. And let's see, let's hear what the difference is between gay and straight. Like, what are you talking about? Is this really happening? Are these teachers really doing so, this? So what I, I try to walk through it and show that there is an, an element of truth. There's a germ of truth in these fears. You you can find a lot of liberal and progressive teachers who, from time to time, are trying to you know use the classroom to advance some 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 left of center thoughts. And and I but but what I'm trying to show is that number one, the Republicans have exaggerated in their own minds the yes. scale at which this is happening, and number two, that their response is is really clumsy and disproportionate, um, and in some ways, especially at the college level is just doing mm -hmm. the opposite of what they're accusing the left of doing, which is imposing their own ideological and political agenda on the classroom instead of trying to have some kind of reasonable middle ground. And I think you're right, uh, Jonathan. There's definitely truth to all of it in some way. In some, it's just a germ of truth. And, and in other ways, it might be very true. But this germ of truth that they capitalize yeah. on and then create into an entire yeah. crisis when, uh, Reverend Al, you can take the next one to Jonathan, when we're dealing with yeah. women's health care, literally getting decimated before mm -hmm. our eyes, and children getting shot up in classrooms. And, and I think, Jonathan, I understand, <clears throat> I think I understand your point, because I know when I was younger and they took prayer out of the schools, there were people that really believed prayer should be in the school, but then they were manipulated by people that wanted to use that for political reasons. And I think, uh, don't you have to consider as you look at this, 
uh, and I'd be interested in your view on this, that there are people that take these real believers and now have expanded it, going after intersectionalism, like uh, with uh, 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 Kimberly Crenshaw's teaching, going after black history, going after women's history. So where you may have had a germ or a seed of real believers, there is a whole political movement now that is using this for very misogynist, homophobic, and racist reasons for a political outcome. Absolutely. And a big part of what I'm trying to show in, the, show in this piece is that they've unleashed um, the most right-wing parents to object to material in the school library or the classroom and to harass uh, teachers and, and, and librarians um, into to taking completely innocuous uh, material out of the out of the classroom um, on the basis of these hyperventilated claims. So. Um, what 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 has at at its core some reasonable elements in a in a in a whole lot of hysteria has just been uh, mm -hmm. unleashed across the country into this pretty unreasonable and and, and dangerous movement. All right, New York Magazine's Jonathan Chait, thank you very much. Uh, more to talk on on this for sure.